Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be talking about Sony A7 III overheating issue. Does it or does it not? Well, after watching various uh, YouTube videos, I've come to the conclusion that it does. Now, there is a but, however. Of the four videos that I've seen, um, three out of four users of A7 III didn't mind it at all and I'll explain right now and I'll show you the four videos. The three uh, YouTubers who post up their overheating issue on the a7 III said that this is acceptable because they're recording 4K video and it's over an hour. So they're recording uh, 4K video and it's about an hour and on average about an hour and 10 minutes or an hour and 20 minutes. and. Um, and it, the temperature you're lo looking at around 22 to 25 ish degree Celsius. And there was one that actually uh, took place around 30 uh, degrees and above. And uh, his name is David Ostler. And he did that and it overheats after 24 minutes for 4K recording. Now, four out of th uh, three out of four uh, YouTubers who has the A7 III um, said it was acceptable because, you know, uh, normally they don't record um, more than two or three minutes of 4k recording continuously so this is acceptable acceptable to them but I want to address this because um, you know for people who want to buy uh, Sony a7 III they can't assume that because a7 R3 which I have won't overheat it does overheat but only if you put it to the extreme test like you were talking about you know above 30 degrees uh, Celsius okay so be aware of that now I'm gonna prove it to you there's four videos and one of them is a very famous uh, youtubers you might have heard of him his name is I uh, well his uh, user YouTube name is iPhone do and you can check him out let's have a look at it right now I'm not just talking about it and we're gonna show you the th four videos the first video was when I came across you know um, a Sony a7 III overheating and his name is let me show you uh, let me just bring up the video okay there we go let's have a look okay so the first guy let's see his name I feel sorry for this guy actually his name is Bo Bodan uh, Nasa Lean they're giving him a hard time a lot of youtubers you know who has who has their uh, a7 III uh, pre-ordered get mad at him because they think he's lying but you know initially I was in the um, you know in the sideline you know saying maybe he has a and he even admitted that he has a uh, defective um, a7 III but here we go let's watch this video quickly and you see here um, I'll, I'll provide a link also at, at the end the four uh, youtubers who found there we go you can see that that's the uh, overheating issue that on his a7 III and then he uh, put post this up on YouTube and you know a lot of uh, hates <laughs> on his uh, channel um, but you know I thought okay maybe and he even admitted maybe his uh, a7 III uh, you know this is a, some kind of defect defect however we have a look at um, let's see let me see if there's another one yeah let me show you another one okay here is Martin Chang or Chung and he also did a um, comparison between a7 III versus uh, a7 R2 and a7 R3 and this is what he found all right have a look at this video here okay I'll provide the link for you guys uh, about these four YouTubers, okay? And there we go. He, this is what he said. Let me just pause it for a minute. He said that A7 III overheated at around one hours and twenty minutes, and the A7 R2 and A7 R3 did not. Okay. Now this is in ambient temperature. I think it's probably around twenty-one to twenty-five degrees Celsius. So you know, an hour and twenty minutes of uh, recording at four K, it's not too bad. A lot of, uh, like I said, a lot of. Uh, uh, videographer think that um, if you're recording continuously for an, well for half an hour then maybe that's a, not a good idea but you know most people record maybe two three minutes of clips and they you know they pause and two three minutes of clips so it's okay so that was uh, Martin uh, Chung and he also said that it overheats after an hour and 20 minutes okay so you these two uh, youtubers you may not heard of them but you know they were the two uh, that came out first uh, uh, doing a YouTube videos and a lot of people again if you can check his um, uh, I, I guess he didn't have rating but I remember watching his rating and uh, it seems like people went liking his uh, 
you know, his test, they're thinking that maybe he also kind of um, uh, made a mistake there, right? Maybe he has a defective uh, A7 III. Then uh, let's move on. Okay, this one, David Osler, he's getting uh, more subscribers. He's over 8.6K uh, or 8,600 8, uh, uh, users. And he's a well-known um, photographer, videographer. Uh, he does weddings and all that. I've watched him uh, watch his video from time to time. And also he uh, said that A7 III overheats at uh, you know 30 degrees Celsius, okay? And uh, at around, as you can see, let me just show you, uh, it said A9 and A7 III a heat sensor came on at 22 uh, minutes and it shuts down at 25 minutes and 20 seconds. So he uh, reported that it overheats. But um, David actually um, uh, didn't mind it because uh, he think that the way he records uh, 4K videos in his wedding um, uh, videos, he does it two or three minutes each time, so it doesn't affect him that much. So he's happy with his A7 III. Let me just quickly watch his video. See, see him just quickly. There we go. So watch that 25, 20. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he he also reported that it overheats there, and then lastly. Uh, a very famous uh, YouTuber, so you heard of him, I do, iPhone Do. He also reported that uh, A7 III uh, overheats. Now, he had a whole A7 III review. You can check him out as well. And he is quite famous. He has a subscriber of 389,000 subscribers. So this guy, is, I think, is quite reliable. Uh, so, But again, you know, you can't deny the other three. Uh, I, I think I trust them now because of uh, you know you have four people now on YouTube rarely do you have uh, so much uh, confirming this okay so I just want you to be aware of that and I'm not being biased against Sony actually all my camera is Sony I have Sony a7R3 I have Sony a7S2 I have NEX 3N I have uh, a5000 I even have the FS 700R so I have all my camera is actually Sony and Sony lenses so um, you know, if I'm saying this, I would be saying against myself, but I want people p to be aware of, of the limits of any camera. I'm not just talking about Sony, but uh, be aware that what you're buying and that when you buy it, you know fully well what you're buying. And I also want to address it to Sony that they have to address this uh, the, the limit as well that, you know, if it doesn't happen with A7R3, um, you know, uh, why can't they do for A7 III? And I'm pretty sure most people were willing to pay an extra two, three hundred dollars more uh, for this uh, non-issue, right, uh, is, uh, overheating. You know, if you can get rid of that, then uh, that'd be great. But let's watch the last one. This is uh, iPhone Do. Okay, here we go. So 99 degrees. On the left, we have Sony A7 R3, and on the right, we have Sony A7 III. A7 III got warmer quite fast compared to A7 R3 and overheated and shut down after 1 hour and 15 minutes. There we go. Okay, an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so my conclusion is this. A7 III does overheat, but after an hour and 10 minutes or 20 minutes of uh, 4K recording uh, at ambient temperature. Okay, so around 21 to 24, 25 degrees, it can record uh, for an hour and 10 or 20 minutes without any issue, 4K recording. Okay, I'm pretty sure 1080p wouldn't have be a problem, but... 4K recording, yes, there's an issue there, right? Now, if it's over 30 uh, degrees Celsius, then 24 uh, minutes is the limit for 4K recording. I have not heard about the A7R3. Seems like everybody's okay with that one, but A7 III, there is a problem. I do not know why. Maybe it's the design of the um, internal uh, casing. Maybe it's the chip. Whatever it is, uh, there is an issue of overheating, but that is acceptable to most of the uh, photographer or videographer. Um, I'm talking about videographer actually more. Um, like David Osler, uh, iPhone Do, and I believe uh, Martin Chung also in that uh, video that I showed you, um, that they're okay with it and they seem that that's acceptable to them. How, however, some of you are um, you know, doing short films and doing in the hot environment like the desert, you know, Sahara, whatever it, the place it is over 30 degrees. This may not be the camera for you if you're doing 4K video, all right? Especially you're thinking of video 
uh, uh, recording over an hour or so at 30 plus degrees this camera cannot handle it I would re refer you to uh, a7R 3 or even better go for the real FS5 FS7 or the FS 700 R that I have right those are the you know those are meant for those kind of harsh environment you want the real proper video camera all right thanks for watching educate